At four o'clock, first four o'clock game, we got number 12, Utah, who's three and out, traveling to number 14, Oklahoma State, who's also three and out. Uh, and the greatest game of the 334 o'clock window, right? There's only two four o'clock games. This is by far the best of the two. Oklahoma State is favored by two and a half points on Fox. Uh, Cam Rising's gone 18 of 29, thrown for 346 yards, seven touchdowns, zero interceptions. Micah Bernard has had 41 carries for 274 yards and a touchdown. And Deshaun Stanley's had five catches for 155 yards and two touchdowns. Alan Bowman for Oklahoma State has gone 75 of 112, thrown for 967 yards, eight touchdowns, two interceptions. Ollie Gordon, the second on the ground, has had 62 carries for 216 yards and four, four touchdowns. And Dazon Stribling's had 17 catches for 295 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, these two teams have played once before Oklahoma State won that matchup in 1945. They won 46 to 6 at Utah. So a um, little bit of things have changed from 1945. But I will say one thing that is really interesting in this football game. It's been mentioned many times by anyone who's talked about this game. But I think it's worth mentioning is the age of both of these quarterbacks. Both of these quarterbacks in their seventh year of college football. And I will say if I had to pick a team that I think... Both quarterbacks are te quarterbacks that can win football games. They've been doing this a long time. They're not going to be, this moment is not going to be too big for them, right? Utah, Cam Rising's been at Utah for a long time. Alan Bowman has been playing college football for a long time. These are two of the more experienced veteran quarterbacks. I don't expect a lot of mistakes to be made in this football game. I will say, I think Oklahoma State wins this one, and here's why. I think Oklahoma State has the least injured quarterback. I hate to say it, but Cam Rising is coming off an injury, right? And it's like, it's probably not a big one, but it's 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 a ring injury. It's an injury to your ring finger. It's going to be, um, it's not nothing. It's not nothing. And at a certain point, it has to be nothing, right? Like it, it can't, you can't be a little dinged up heading into this game because it's going to be so close because these are the two front runners to win the Big 12. I think Oklahoma State's the better team here a little bit. I think Utah's the better football team. I think Oklahoma State has the healthier quarterback in Allen Bowman. And I think that's going to matter. I think it is. I think it's going to be which quarterback can make the most plays for their football team. And I think Allen Bowman has done a very good job at Oklahoma State of being just a manager of a football game, just being able to manage the game extremely well. And I think Cam Rising is going to be hurt a little bit. I think Oklahoma State is a solid squad this year, and I think just that little injury, I would have picked Utah if Cam Rising wasn't coming off the injury. If I had Cam Rising had played last week and he played well, I would have felt more confident heading into this game that Utah would win. But it's at home. I think Oklahoma State is a solid squad, and I think they have the least injured quarterback. I like Oklahoma State to win and cover at home.